the acceleration at time t of a particle moving along the x axis is given by a of t is equal to ten times t to the third power plus five at time t is equal to zero the velocity of the particle is zero and the position of the particle is four what is the position of the particle at time t so essentially this question is asking for a function which gives the position of the particle at any time t so let's call that p of t and we're given the function for acceleration let's first think about this in reverse the rate of change of the position particle is the velocity so p prime of t is equal to the velocity function and the rate of change of the velocity is the acceleration function so in other words p double prime of t or the second derivative of p is equal to the rate of change of the velocity or the derivative of the velocity and this is all just equal to the acceleration so since we're given the acceleration if we take its antiderivative or take an indefinite integral then we can find the velocity function and once we have the velocity function we can just take an antiderivative of that and we'll get the position function so let's start with the acceleration and take an indefinite integral of it so we have 10 t to the third power plus 5 and if we take an integral of this with respect to t then this will be equal to the velocity at time t so we'll use the power rule for taking integrals where if we had the integral of x to the nth power dx then this would integrate to x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and plus a constant so we'll apply that here so we'll do it term by term since we have a sum here we'll just integrate each of these terms separately and the antiderivative of this 10t to the third power we increase the exponent by 1 so it would be 10t to the fourth and then we divide by that new exponent 4 and then we add the antiderivative of 5 and 5 you can think of as just 5 times t to the 0 power and if we look at it this way then we can just increase this exponent by 1 so it becomes 5 times t to the first and we divide that by the new exponent or 1 and then we just have to add a constant on the outside so let's simplify this a little bit so the velocity at time t is equal to 10 fourths times t to the fourth and this simplifies to 5 times t to the fourth over 2 and we have plus 5 times t and plus c and we have to figure out what this constant is and the way to do that is to go back up to the original problem and we're given that at time t is equal to 0 the velocity of the particle is 0 so let's use that information to figure out what this constant is so at t is equal to 0 the velocity is equal to zero so this right here is zero and then we're plugging in a value of zero anywhere we see a t so we have a zero times five halves which is zero and then plus five times zero which is also zero so c would have to be equal to zero so now our velocity function is just 5 times t to the fourth over 2 plus 5 times t and now we want to find the position function remember the position function is just the indefinite integral of the velocity function with respect to t so we can just plug in this function here and take an integral so 5t to the fourth over 2 plus 5t dt and integrating term by term since we have a sum we're left with 5 times t to the fifth we'll just increase the exponent by 1 and divide 
by that new exponent. You notice these two fives cancel each other out. And we have plus 5t to the second now divided by 2 and plus a constant. So if we simplify this, we have t to the fifth over 2 plus 5t squared over 2 plus c. And we just have to figure out what c is. And notice that at time t is equal to 0, the position of the particle is 4. So let's use that information. So in other words, p of 0, when t is 0, is equal to 4. So 4 is equal to 0 to the fifth over 2 plus 5 halves times 0 squared plus c. So these terms both have a 0 in it, so they would go away, so that we now have c is equal to 4. So our position as a function of t is equal to t to the fifth over 2 plus 5t squared over 2 plus 4. And this is our final answer.